Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be working on this uh, this upgraded bow kit. I've just laid out all the parts that we're going to use to make up this uh, this bow section. So we get obviously we get some wooden laser cut timber heads, and they come in a section like that. Also, we also get like a section that goes around to make the grating that goes on top of the timber heads. We get the marine walk, and we move on to the uh, the photo etch parts. And this is the uh, one of the uh, the main ones that you really wanted in this. Uh, this bow kit is one of the probably hardest parts to add to make it look accurate. So obviously this is a really nice 3D uh, printed part. We get one of them for the port and starboard. We get obviously one of the mouldings that kind of go under this top moulding that then they attach to the uh, the cat head. And it's another quite hard part to actually put this little scribing in in with uh, obviously in wood, or well, especially the wood that you kind of get with this kit. And we get the two uh, mouldings that kind of sit under slightly lower than this one. We get two of them. They obviously go into the slots, into these timber heads. Then we get these caps, and these caps kind of once all these uh, timbers are fitted, and then these moulding parts are fitted, these caps kind of go over the top and just kind of finish off the full bow kit. Okay, so when you receive this kit from Woody's Model Works, it actually comes uh, with uh, like a masking tape. It's actually pay more to kind of have your laser, laser cut with masking tape on. So obviously when you peel it back, you don't get any burn marks. I'm just going to say, so the first thing you do is I'll just peel off the, uh, off the masking tape. And that kind of reveals these parts. Then we start, we're going to be working with these parts first, but the first thing we need to do is actually bring victory across and actually just remove some uh, parts that we kind of already added way back in the uh, the build back in what, March, April of last year. Okay, because we're adding this new complete bow kit, we actually can remove these two parts because we get these uh, parts in the kit that are 3D printed, they're going to be a lot nicer. So you pretty much remove them anywhere you can. We just need to kind of just... Let's get them off your victory if you've already added them. What I'm going to do is score, score behind the glue line and then pull them off. Okay, so once you've got to remove these parts, all you need to do now is obviously just get them a nice sand back, get them all nice and smooth tight where we first had this front part of the bow. Repaint it if you want to. And then we can move on to the next stage. Okay, so I've kind of just finished off uh, just removing all that old, old part of the ship. And I've, just, I've sanded it and just get a little coat of black paint again. So now we can kind of move on to fitting the first of the timber heads. And this is the uh, the first timber you get in the kit. And I'll show you a comparison from the one from the upgraded set to the one you get with the kit. And this is this is accurate. Obviously, this is the one that kind of came with the kit. But it kind of just shows you the uh, the massive ma massive difference. A lot more, a uh, lot more accurate, a lot more to scale. Okay, so you're gonna have to kind of fit the first piece. Just down this uh, first section where the first tin red goes. What you might find is obviously every kit slightly different. It's not one kit fits all. So what you might do is just take a little file. So obviously just take off a little bit of the uh, obviously the burn marks. And also you might just have to take a file and kind of just paint. Just get this file inside this section where we've uh, fitted it and painted it from previous issues. Once you've done that, you can kind of take this first part of the kit and you can kind of sl slide it down. I can imagine, obviously, this is where obviously the weak points are. So once you kind of get it in this first point, once you start to slide down, once you get a bit of resistance, and just take a like a, just a scrap piece of wood, kind of push it from the top. Don't try to push it with these these sides because all you do is break it. So just kind of push it down from the top, and then I'll just. Push down to you can't get no more. And what we need to do, because obviously this is where this parts, the timber is where this uh, all this grating is going to fit on. Once you're kind of kind of happy, let's kind of bring this part across. Let's get a little test fit, see how it's going to line up. 
we have to kind of remember in the original victory it is great to just kind of sit up so you just kind of just have a look just have a look how it's fitting bring across it just a piece of wood and you can kind of put it on this section and you can kind of see the gap on this side but yeah i think even though this is all the way flush you're probably still going to need just a little bit of sanding off the top okay so what i'm going to do i'm actually going to glue this this pot in first but because it's going to be incredibly difficult to paint this after i'm just going to paint this uh this one now and then fit it Okay, so after painting this first head timber, let it dry 10 minutes, we can now fit it in the first slot. Like well, I say, it's probably going to be tight again because we've just had a little layer of paint. So, kind of, so all you got to do is kind of just, like we did before, get it, push it down until it sticks, do something just to push it down that final bit. Okay, so kind of once it's always stuck to the bottom, I kind of get these pieces again let's kind of see what the fits like it's okay because so what we need to do actually these will slightly spread and that's what we want because obviously when we bring this uh, this platform across spread it out so it kind of evens up the gaps and obviously what we want is kind of like obviously all this to be running onto the tip of that section kind of running where the bow spit's going to go and we're kind of all running in this direction okay so i'm not going to have any glue to this one it's it's kind of held in nice and it's one of when we had all the other parts and that's going to glue in so i'm going to get the next timber head and like i said we can actually paint this one while it's fit to the model so we'll just move along as a slot fit this one in this one that one feels okay and same again these are going to get spread They'll probably they'll spread better once we attach this top cover. Kind of so just keep putting them on, kind of get it level. Just have to adjust it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of wood glue all around this section. Pop him in. Take this part again, just kind of the running something like okay so the distance at the bottom is eight mil so all i'm going to do is just going to drop in a couple of these eight mil spaces that's just going to keep them nice and square while the glue dries okay so the second one's been painted black that's drying nice so now we can move on to the third one it's pretty much the same as the uh, the first and second one we started to lose a little bit of material on the back so like i said we have to be just even more careful than we were before but well, same again just filed it making sure it fits nice and that's just test fitting into this slot push down like the first two and that's okay bring the platform across let's kind of have another look just see how it's fitting make sure that we've got a slightly slightly angling up which we are that's going to be okay. I said this platform is going to be need a little bit of adjustment. Like I say, everybody's model is different. Like I say, it fitted really, uh, fitted perfect on Neil's because Neil designed it to his. But obviously, mine it's going to need a little bit of work, and it's probably going to be the same for everybody. We all slightly uh, build a bit different. We all have maybe tolerances of two or three mil. Okay, but I can glue this one in and paint this one as well. Same again, so there's some glue to the bottom section and slipping back into this groove over the bow, push it all the way down the flush. Okay, let's wipe off some of the excess. Okay, so this one we've got like a 10 mil gap at the bottom, so to keep the space equal, I've got a 10 mil block and slide in between them two. I'm just going to put these this 8 mil spacer. Back in this one to make sure they're still lined up okay and that is like i say i'll leave that to dry 10 minutes paint that one black as well and we'll come back 
Okay, so the third timber is all glued nice and dried. I've painted one black. And we're getting to a section now where I think we need to start add these uh, gambling lines to this uh, bowsprit. Because I think once we kind of add these marine marine walk support brackets, and then we kind of add this uh, this platform as well. I think it's going to be incredibly difficult to try and get in and actually tie these gambling lines. In the instructions, it kind of shows you to build all this up first and put this in. But, you know, I think it's going to be really tricky to try and tie these lines once all this is in the way. So, like I say, this is the bowsprit that I uh, made in last week's video. Yeah, so I think I'm going to uh, get this tied down first before we carry on any further. But that'll be in uh, next week's video. Yeah, so if you join me back in next week's video, I'm going to add all these marine marine walk support brackets I can add the marine walk that's going to obviously fit obviously something like that all these parts okay so we're also going to figure out how we're going to kind of get this all this uh, gratings part fitted and then i'm going to start fitting all the uh, 3d printed parts yeah so that's going to be uh, quite interesting trying to figure out make sure these all fit and line up nice but anyway hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all again soon